this CryptoPunk NFT just sold for $117,556 in Ethereum, which to me, I find it absolutely insane that NFTs are still a thing to the extent <laughs> that this CryptoPunk NFT sold for six figures, right? Which to me is like, I just think it's kind of crazy, right? I never really understood the appeal of NFTs in the form of like the digital art stuff because people just screenshot it. So, so CryptoPunks are a gen- generative art collection and one of the first ever applications of NFTs for digital art. There are only 10,000 punks in existence, and some of them are thought to be lost forever. So what happened? CryptoPunk number 8058 just sold for 63 ETH, or Ethereum. So the value of CryptoPunks is typically determined by punks' attributes, with the hoodie, beanie, and pilot helmet trades being the most coveted. And other species of punks, zombies, apes, and aliens are incredibly rare, and also sell for a premium. So, I guess this is the accessory of this. Hot lipstick, 696. Accessory, straight hair, 151. Accessory, regular shades, 52. <laughs> Type, female, 3,840. Accessory, three attributes, 4,122. So, why it matters? CryptoPunks are the ultimate rookie card for NFT collectors. CryptoPunks have earned huge influence in 2021 with dozens of celebrities proudly showing off their punk ownership on Twitter. And CryptoPunk sales are a leading indicator for the rest of the NFT market and go to show that some are willing to spend serious coin on blockchain-based art still, which I think, again, is crazy, right? Like, here's the thing. If you want to get into, like, NFTs or the crypto space in any context... Only use money that you are 100% okay with losing. Because that whole space is very questionable. But if you got money to spend that will not hurt your lifestyle, then go ahead. Play with the money. But I don't know. Pretty crazy to me.